I was the victim of a series of accidents, as are we all. Okay, so just my thoughts on The Sirens of Titan by Kurt Vonnegut. And uh, I'm reading uh, James Joyce's Ulysses at the moment. I'm thinking, you know, it's going to be a while until I finish that book. And I didn't read the first, the first the, the, apparently this is a sequel. So, you know, I might even start reading something else before I finish this one. But anyways, having said that, I've read quite a few books in my short time here on this earth. And one of the most entertaining, original, thought-provoking, and life-questioning, as well as daringly question-answering novel I've ever encountered is Kurt Vonnegut's The Sirens of Titan. Um, Vonnegut, he does not have the most poetic prose as a writer, but he is a very, and is the most creative storyteller I've ever encountered. Um, and that's saying a lot, taking into consideration, I've only read this one book of his, I plan on reading Slaughterhouse Five, uh, sometime in the future. Um, whenever I get around to it, I have quite a few books to get through. Um, anyways, uh, the way he structures his sentences and paragraphs, um, is you know strictly to inform straight to the point but it's you know it's almost like a thriller it's fast paced there no, there's not really pauses for thought it's not stream of consciousness I, I actually like that I prefer that I'm not gonna lie to you because um, I'm all about story you know and um, except for you know a few exceptions if you're really good at it but um, yeah as I said before this this book's really it's a, it's almost like a thriller it's not like a fast-paced action type you know it's you know, a lot of thought-provoking stuff and also um it's kind of like, i compare it to 1984 in a way it's not science fiction actually it is science fiction but um and but in terms of its creativity and like creating a world that uh, might be or um, that's a tangible world that um you know i think it's up there with 1984 but I look at or Orwell more as a prophetic writer, informing via reimagination, rather than Vonnegut. Um, he's someone who attempts to answer hard questions by actually giving a potential answer. And one, my favorite question in this uh, in the Sirens of Titan that he attempts to answer is, "Are human beings capable of free will?" Um, this novel I think succeeds in making us contemplate the meaning of humanity's existence via. The space odyssey of Malachi Constant. He's the richest man um, in this future Earth. And uh, he's not like the brightest man, but he is the luckiest and probably the most conceited man you um, ever. He's given a proposition by another man called, uh, named Winston Niles of Brumford. And he's an omniscient man, and he tells Constant that he's going to go to saturn's moon titan in which he will live out the rest of his life with three of the most beautiful sirens you know beautiful women in the solar system and he even shows him a picture um rumford explains to constant that his journey will consist of him going to mars from earth then to mercury from mars then back to earth from mercury and then to titan uh, yeah, so you know, but it, it's not a long book, but you know, it happens. It's all there, and um, the thing is, Malachi Constance like, whoa, there, buddy. Uh, why would I even want to live leave Earth? I'm the richest man on Earth, um, and he has everything he could ever want, right? Um, spoiler alert: it's not his choice. <laughs> okay, so I usually don't have to tell you that it's not so much the destination. That matters but it's the journey that captivates and which is most certainly true even in this case until we are introduced to Salo. He Salo is a robot built a long time ago in a galaxy far far away <laughs> and uh, he's on Titan actually waiting for Malachi Constant so you know the the destinations gets pretty interesting as well and that's actually the, my favorite part of the book not that the rest of the book is you know amazing but you know the ending of the book is i think what makes it for me and um like i wish like really i wish i could it was a longer book at the end of it because it was a really good book but he has a lot of books so i'll read some of his other books so. anyway um i think this is a must read i recommend this novel to all those who are open and who are curious and who consider themselves enlightened people and 
you know, and I think there are people out there that are, you know, brave enough to contemplate such questions um, on the meanings of life and humanity. Only if you dare to answer your own reality. You know, a lot of people, they're indifferent towards questions of life and death and they and humanity, and they do not like to answer those questions, either because they're scared or even they don't care. And or they have, they think they have the answers to those questions and they don't think they need to explore it further, which, you know, that's... You know, not not the way I think. I think that it's not a question that we can necessarily answer, but I think it's important to contemplate our, you know, our light. Our I think it's important. I think it's important to contemplate. You know, at least why. Well, not why, but you know, well, what we should do with our lives. You know. Um. Anyways, uh, this is a good short book. A uh, nice short review. I read it a little bit ago, so you know, I try to make my other reviews longer, but. You know, I think this is all I got for this one. I just want—I just want to say you should go read it. Uh, let me know what you think. Maybe in the comments below. Uh, yeah, this is a YouTube video, so you know, just my thoughts on the Sirens of Titan. Uh, see you later.